Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I am here in a very sunny Blackpool. Check it out, yeah, I'm just here at the North Station tram stop. Got a couple of trams in behind me here. Uh, is it the calm before the storm? Yeah, we've got nice sunny weather at the moment, calm winds, but Storm Ashley is on the way, and we have got a yellow alert for winds of up to 70 miles an hour this evening so I thought I'd take a little look around we'll head to the promenade because they've got the light pool festival on are they going to survive the storm? You know, they put all these fancy things up that light up on the promenade and we've got these high winds coming in tonight are they going to survive? well let's go down and check it out Stargate, that tram there, just leaving. I'm filming this at around about midday. Got a view of the tower over there. Just look at these blue skies, aren't they amazing? Anyway, I'll head to the promenade and uh, we'll have a little look at what's going on. Uh, the calm before the storm. Look at that bright sunshine up there. Oh, just before I continue, I just want to give another shout out to Greg's here at the North Station tram stop. Give them a visit if you're in town. I've, uh, I've just bought myself uh, these uh, potato wedges here. I really like these. So I'll be tucking into them now as we head into Blackpool Town Centre towards the promenade. Before Storm Ashley comes in this evening, it doesn't coincide with high tide, which is quite fortunate actually um, we've got high tide at around about 1.30 today now the highest or well, the worst of the winds are going to be tonight around about 8 o'clock but we're going to have a low tide at that time so luckily enough it doesn't coincide with the worst of the winds and the highest of the tide got a 9 metre tide today as well so that'd be that would be interesting, wouldn't it, with 70 mile an hour gusting winds? Ah, we've got a light pool exhibit right here, actually, on this bit of wasteland next to the next to the North Station. Look at that there, it's a it's like a lampshade. Who designs these things? What is it? Like a a lampshade with an octopus. A bit wacky, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, uh, the road's a bit wet because we had some pretty heavy rain this morning, yeah, so the road's looking pretty wet. Looking fairly quiet around here at the moment, just outside Mark Kelly's. I can't see any beer monsters at the moment, but uh, there's still time. It's getting to that time of year now, isn't it? You know, when the sun's low down and you get a wet, a wet road. It can be deadly, can't it? When you're driving down the road in the morning, sunrise, and the road's wet. Yeah, you've got to be careful. This time of year, and heading down Talbot Road now. Seems fairly quiet actually for a Sunday, the time of day. Like I say, I'm filming this at. Uh, just after, it's probably about half twelve now. Heron Foods. You know, I've never been in Heron Foods. Never been in. Am I missing out? Well, here's a good example of what I was talking about. We're now looking down Abingdon Street. Looking right into the sunshine. Look at that reflection on the road. Straight towards the Winter Gardens. I think they've finished. Britain's got talent now, haven't they? Yeah. What we got over here? Turkish barber. Bright barbers. Just there, we've got the Abingdon Barbecue. <coughs> That's always popular, that. <laughs> I 
The road's still closed off. Now on the corner of Clifton Street, I hope you can see something because I can't. I can't see anything on my screen. It just looks like a silhouette. Just on the corner, we've got the bread basket. That's actually closed down. I'm afraid it's closed down, folks. No more bread basket. Right, anyway, let's head down here. Shout out to Icons. Let's see what they've got. Look, they've got it all movies. Movie fans, music fans, we've got it all in here, merchandise and icons, check them out. If you come to Blackfield, just next door, we've got another vape store. You can never have enough vape stores, can you? What's this place here? Yeah. How are you doing? You all right? <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> are you vlogging, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that, folks. I just had to cut off there, but uh, I was just letting someone know that I wasn't talking to myself. But I've just nipped up here to the Winter Gardens just to show you that... Uh, it's all clearing out up here, they're clearing out, the Britain's Got Talent set here, look. Thought I'd just quickly show you this while I was here. I might as well carry on this way now and head down Church Street instead. It's looking pretty busy around here, a bit more busy than where I started anyway this is one of the busiest uh, shopping streets in Blackpool I'd say it's got the Marks and Spencers got a lot of cafes as well the Hive here very respectable establishment is the Hive got Beaver Brooks Beaver the Tower there that's the old post office building by the way that Beaver Brooks is in yeah the old post office building, it says it up there, look, look up. When you come to Blackpool, you never know what you might see. This is interesting. Very interesting. to McQuid by the way <coughs> that's the Grand Theatre there it's all been done up at the moment look it's all clad in scaffolding here's a view of the tower I'm now up to Bank Hay Street look at that Spectacular, isn't it? The wet ground. I can hear an alarm going off. I'm just outside Leonard Jews. This is another jewellers that shut down. I think it was last year. Yeah, we're losing all the all the jewellers, but we've still got Beaver Brooks. We've still got H Samuel just behind me. This is Papa's. Just getting to the promenade now. We'll have a little look at some of the exhibits it was a bit windy this morning as well i'm telling you it was and you know a lot of these exhibits light pool things are quite delicate as well but as i get onto the promenade you can see we've got a nice blue sky we've got a, a heritage tram over there check it out balloon 700 let's go and have a, a quick look at that that box over there <coughs> is a projection unit and it projects a display onto the onto the wedding chapel so oh the tram's about to go here we go there you go that's balloon seven seven hundred i love the sound of the old trams don't you you can't beat it can you the old blackpool trams that's the wedding chapel so if you come down at night you'll see a projection on there from that black box we'll just go and have a little look in front of the tower Oh, look at that now. Wow. Just noticed that one of these cars parked outside the wedding chapel has got a, a penalty charge notice on the window. Wow. I 
Anyway, we're just coming up to the, the tower headland. This is a tower headland. It was constructed around about 2010, or completed, should I say. And then they built, they did the comedy carpet. Because if you remember, before they did the, the sea wall, all of this promenade was flat. There wasn't really that much room in front of the tower. But this exhibit here, I think it's called Som, Som, Somulus or something. Someone, some guy the other day on my video reckoned it was Elon Musk Starlink or something like that. It does look a bit kind of futuristic, doesn't it? Satellite. They've got the board here. It's, it's quite breezy, but it's, it's, uh, it's not... Oh, no, no, it's not, I was wrong. It's actually called Neuron. I'm getting mixed up with another one. I think there's another one just by the... Uh, uh, is it by the Metropole? I think that, that's uh, what I was getting it mixed up with, that one with all the dangly lights. Yeah, so they are quite brittle, I would say. And I'm just wondering whether later on tonight I'll probably come out and do another video in the high winds. I'm just wondering whether they might have to turn some of these things off because of the the weather but it is quite breezy now I can feel the wind coming towards me it's coming from the south by the way yeah the south so it's quite a warm wind it's definitely not cold so I'm just here on the comedy carpet by the Blackpool side it's a bit like being in Las Vegas isn't it yeah everyone wants the picture taken with the big sign don't they but yeah it's pretty it's not cold by any means that's the the the, the winds are coming from the south at the moment but they're going to switch direction and later on tonight when the heavy winds come they're going to be coming from the south west but i think it's going to be dry i think it's going to stay dry and like i say um high tide is happening at half one this afternoon and uh, the the high winds are going to hit at around about eight o'clock until midnight and eight o'clock is roughly uh, low tide so that's a good thing really because if it had co coincided with high tide it would have been very interesting but it is going to be quite interesting tonight in Blackpool with the 70 mile an hour gust yellow weather yellow alert for wind we're not getting the worst of it they're getting, getting it much worse in Scotland actually so uh, yeah so we're not doing too bad here in Blackpool. Wowzers. Well, it wouldn't be a Blackpool video if I didn't bring you a view of the sea. And look at this now. It's a little bit choppy out there today. We're around about half an hour away from high tide, which is going to be nine metres. Nine metres today, yeah? Anyway, just behind me, we've got this marquee. I hope they've battened it down well enough. We've got a lot of water tanks around the, around the side of it. This has got flux, flux extended. It's like, a, it's really good actually. If you get a chance to see it, check it out. Flux extended. It's pretty spectacular actually. Music and like these arm things with LEDs on them that go flying around. But anyway, this is the calm before the storm, folks. But at the moment in Blackpool, well, nice blue skies. Okay, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. So it's a little look around Blackpool on Sunday, the calm before the storm. And uh, I'm not too sure what's going to happen with the light pool. They might have to maybe turn some of them off because, like I say, a lot of these things are quite delicate. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be interesting later on. I, I might come out and film a, a video later on when the, when the winds are at the strongest. Because you know me, I'm a bit of a weather chaser. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. And also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.